Welcome back to another video. If you guys don't know, today is a very special day. We will be working on Dale's bus. I'm gonna be getting his engine put back together. Dean is here to help out on the project, but today is Dale's six year retirement anniversary. And after 35 years working for the company, or no, 34 and a half years working for the company that he worked for, he is retired, he's bought a box truck, he's now got, bought a school bus, and he's doing exactly what he wants his retirement, living a life that he just truly enjoys. And uh, Dale, I'm happy you retired because we became friends because of it. As you said, I, it's not one of those dates that I think about that often, but since you're making such a fuss out, out of it today, I think what I'm gonna do is go take a nap. You know, I would expect nothing else of Dale but to go take a nap on his retirement day. Uh, what I'm gonna do is start working on his engine so that uh, we can get it all up and running. If I don't get this engine back together, I'm gonna pretty much be delaying his retirement plans, which on a day like today is not okay because we're supposed to be celebrating Dale's retirement, which means this bus needs to start so he can go do something. First thing that I have to do today is try to rebuild Dale's pulley that goes on his water pump. There were some bearings that fit inside this little pulley, idler pulley right here, and I gotta pop them out because this is actually the casing for the bearing, which clearly broke and that was the issue. Uh, there's a double bearing pulley and we have the new ones, but I gotta get these rings out first. And then we just put this little pin back in to hold all the, pin back in to hold the pins in, but hold the pin in to uh, get all the, bearings back in and then this guy will be good to go back on. It's a little rusted, a little old, not exactly working as quickly or as fast as I'd want to, but by the end of the day, it's Dale's retirement and we're gonna get him back on the road. Not because we want him to leave. We just want him to have a working bus. For anyone out there who wants to know, this is the new bearing that will, you know, pop into there. And this is the old bearing. There's nothing, there's no bearing. Uh, what happened was, it looks like Dale's guy, you know, kind of wore away a good bit. Yeah, it wasn't working anymore. So we got our new bearings. I have to get this guy off of the bolt so that we can get the new one on. And then we can slide the pulleys through, you know, as so. Drop them back in put it back on right here. And as our good friend Badge would say, Bob's your uncle. So I still have to grind the bolt off to get, not the bolt off, I have to grind the bearing off of the bolt that got stuck, but um, I can't press the bearings into this pulley. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in the oven. What it's gonna do is heat up the metal, expand it slightly so I can get the bearings to slide in. And then when it cools, it's gonna cool back around the bearings. I don't have to worry about pressing them as much. It's a kind of a workaround. It's a thing that my dad and my grandpa taught me a while ago um, when I was younger. So we're gonna try it out and see if it works. Otherwise we have to drive to the store and get a uh, bearing pulley or a bearing press and uh, get them pushed in there. But you know, we're gonna get this thing done, clean it up, put it in the oven, and then hopefully by then we can get this whole thing started to put back together. Hey Dean. Hello. Can you watch my pulley while it's cooking? Okay, crispy or extra crispy? I need it extra crispy. I need to put some bearings in it. Okay, so not the way Dale likes it. Don't forget the shredded cheese. Should I grab it with my hands when I'm done? Yeah, don't use oven mitts. It's not gonna be hot or anything. Okay, okay. And while that thing's cooking, we're gonna get the, uh, the bearing all figured out. Gina's putting her diesel tank back on as well. And it's painted. It is painted. It's matching, it matches her bus now. We're having a little bit of an issue here with Dale's bolt. When the bearing was going, it seemed to have ripped into the bolt a little bit and created ridges. So those ridges are not allowing the bearing to go on. So the bearing won't go on fully. So I gotta grind off those ridges just slightly. I don't have a lathe, so we're just gonna have to do it with a grinder. But 
Oh boy. We'll see if we can get it back to somewhat round. I just got the pulley on right here and this guy got all the bearings put in. It took quite a bit of work. The heat did work. Um, it's now cooled down so it seems like it's seated correctly. The next thing on the other end is we got to get this fan clutch off of the old water pump. So we've got our pipe wrenches and stuff. Um, we just got to get this one torqued over to the left and then we should be good to go. These are not the uh, wrenches that you would normally use to do this job. Unfortunately, when the nearest place is 150 miles away to get a wrench that we could actually be correct. We are improvising. We're like the Marines, adapt and overcome. So we'll see how this works. I thought Dean was coming with the wrench. I thought that's why you came. No, I came for doing a service call. Oh, you came to fix the furnace. Uh, yeah, yeah. Call that's me right. up that's if you want a service a call. Yeah, across the whole country. Yeah, uh, that's fine. Yeah. We got to get this done really quickly because we're going out to dinner for Dale's six year anniversary. So, all right, well, you then, know. we're filming and let's get this. Why shoot. are you still filming, Dale? Because you, you know, what? you're going to just do a little. Dean, where have you been? I don't know what that thing is. I'm not gonna give you an explanation. No explanation? How zoomed in are you on me right now? <laughs> Very zoomed in. How'd you know? Dean, Hey, you... Rome. Talking to number one bus. There's Rome. Hey, Rome. Hey, Will. Hey, Will. We got Michael and, and uh, Dale also here. Hi, Will. Hi, Rome. You guys are on camera. And Kristen. And my Hi, mom. Kristen. And Rush. <laughs> That's funny. I'm going to take a picture. Stand for a picture. So Dean's here hey, in New York. Ready for a photo. But Will, if you know him from the number one bus, Kristen, Rome, and Rush, hey, they're mom, at Dean's up. house right now. Mom. And now they're posing for a photo. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> We're all watching you. Okay, bye. We miss you guys. Hey, Dale. Hey. Well, besides saying hi to Will, we got your pulley back on. We hope so. It's uh like we said you know last time we were taking it apart. We're ten percent there. Yeah. We're always ten percent. Remember this morning when I said I think I'm gonna take a nap and then I didn't go? Yeah. I think I'm about ready to go take that. Yeah. You <laughs> said you said it was alright this morning. I did. It still is alright, it's just uh we only got we got ten percent done, we got ninety percent to go. Dean, what are you doing? I'm not helping. After quite a bit of confusing, uh, you know, or actually if I'll explain it this way. After not taking a photo of the serpentine belt when we took the engine apart, uh, Dale and I and Dean just kind of racked our brains for a little bit to figure out exactly how it was going to go back on. Uh, I ended up finding a diagram on the internet, followed that one, everything worked out. More frustrating than it should have been, but we got it back on. The next thing on the list is going to be putting the actual fan clutch back on. Uh, once we get that on, then just radiator, intercooler, and you know, one step, two step, three step. But at this point, all the parts that broke and all the parts that we needed to come in from the store are now installed. So, uh, Dale, I feel like it's kind of a negative thing to say, but you'll be able to leave, you know. Don't count your chickens till the job's done, all right? I'm not, I'm actually hoping, I'm hoping we don't finish and then Dale just has to stay. Yeah. And I know that most of you out there agree that we don't want to see Dale go for the winter, but he's going to, and we'll most likely, almost most likely see him next summer. May actually shave my head next year. Whoa! <laughs> look like Dean. Look Looks like, like Dean. Look like Dean. And by that time, my beard will be the same color as yours too. So. Sparker works? I don't know. No. Can you do it? Sounds like gas. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Go Dean! It works. 
I didn't do anything other than put it in place. Did you look at that? Oh, yeah, now turn it off. It's getting really hot. That's what I do. I just, <laughs> hey, yeah, now you got a stove. Or a wow, that's your I can light the oven. Well, Dean's got all this going on. I got to get back outside and get the higher, get all the hoses cut sure the and uh, get this radiator put back in. We've just got the radiator in. And Dean is getting his hands dirty, putting all the hoses underneath for me. And uh, all we gotta do now is pour the coolant in, add some more transmission fluid, uh, check everything over, and we're gonna try to get this thing started, or at least see if it turns over, uh, check all the work we did before we put the bumper on and the front hood. Because we've already pretty much put parts on, taken them off, put parts on like three times already, and I don't wanna do that with the hood or the bumper. And I know Dean doesn't, and I know Dale definitely doesn't. I'm thinking it looks good without a hood. Remember, remember we told uh, Gina and they a couple weeks ago we were just taking the bumper off because we wanted to make it a flat nose. It's I, I've I've lost you know I can go into any national park in America now. <laughs> yeah, you're under 26 feet. You're good to go. Oh right. well, well, I was under 26 feet. You know, oh, with the hood. What do you think it is now? I was gonna say 20. I think it looks great. It's a flat nose now. Four hours later, and I'm still turning this. Yeah, some Dean, of the how long do you think it's gonna take for you to keep turning that bolt? I'm thinking we could get some of that wood that I we got that I'm using on the inside and build a whole front end on it. He got one. I only do half turns. You know, Dean, you have one job, one hose. All right, we got it started, but we got a drip, we got a leak, so something. Where's your, uh, Something definitely isn't going where's well. Where's your knife? Then? Well, at least it's running. So we found where the leak was coming from, or should I say Dean found the leak where it was coming from. The uh, thermostat was leaking because of the old gasket, so we're gonna have to put a new gasket in here to get it sealed up. But I'm pretty sure that that is the only leak that we found on the entire system. So uh, one, that means we put it back together correctly and it's all sealed. Um, two, it means Dale is definitely going to be in good shape for us to put the hood and bumper back on and move forward. So I just got to drop a new gasket on this thermostat and then we should be good to go for moving forward and getting everything else going. Dale! What? I thought we were making it a flat nose. Well, you thought wrong. That's why <laughs> That's why I'm the supervisor and you're the crew. Cause <laughs> it's it's fine just the way it is. I'm happy. The only thing now we have to do is reconnect the lights and rewire those two that we cut. I just got a question for you. All right, go ahead. Why did you hire this guy? Why did you invite, why did you bring him over? Technically, I didn't. He just showed up. I wasn't even trying to help. They just couldn't do it without me. That's you know, <laughs> all my these long, lanky arms to reach the bolt. And he, he didn't how, bring any look work clothes. Clean, look, at, look at this. He, unlike you, who buys a good pair of dress pants to go to a wedding and then turns them into work clothes. No, that's, this is, if you get a, anytime you see Mike, that's his wedding outfit if he does ever get married. What's wrong with flannel? Absolutely nothing. Nobody said there was anything wrong with it. It's just, you know, every day. Hey, dress. it's either you wear the same flannels when you're working or you just end up getting everything dirty. So I just wear the same things. It's way yeah, easier that way. have nothing else to wear, so it doesn't. But all I do is work on buses. Well, I will give you that. All right, well, with Dale's engine put back together, now at this point, uh, we know that he can drive home. Now we gotta get the inside as complete as possible. Uh, we're not obviously gonna be able to get the inside 100% done before he leaves. He's gonna be finishing things by himself down in Florida, no, but- No, wait a second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. Uh-oh. You gotta come to Florida in February. To help you? For the swarm. 
Oh, that's true. Oh, but and we'll probably be going to visit Dale in the winter. And hopefully by then he'll be able to bring Ivan with him, maybe? Yeah, yeah we'll maybe definitely... And Abby? We'll have Ivan back. And I'm we'll not, I can't drive both at the same time. Well, but I know, but if your mom and dad want to go to the race... Family road trip with Navi and Ivan. I like that idea, Dale. But for this, though, we got to let this one go. We're going to be ending it here in the next video. Uh, we got to get Dale all packed up. But what, what you don't realize is what? you still have two buses in the driveway that aren't really running right. Gina's and yours. I don't know why he's always trying to bust on me like I've always got more work to do. Dale, we know we got more stuff to do. <laughs>